Hey all you two, this is Tad Tech Computers, your host, Charlie. Today, I, have this, I got this video card from a friend of mine, which is this one. Apparently, it doesn't function properly. So, you gotta figure out why. And if you noticed, there's all these blemishes everywhere. Actually, I might have spilt something on it. So, I'm hoping with some acetone alcohol that hopefully it'll clean the surfaces and display a picture again. This is an idea. Now, this is the one I have had for a while. I can tell no markings, and this car works perfectly. If you compare the two, you see that. Uh, this one is perfectly fine. This one has a lot of crap on it. And the crap is, yes, I'm on. Yeah, it's a buff, best of my fault. Yeah, this one right here looks like this chip is corroded. So maybe I might be one of the display ports. Yeah, crap on the sticker. Pretty sure I removed the sticker. For time being, yeah, crap all through different pins, circuitry, chips, another coded uh, little chip or transistor. So, hopefully, some alcohol might fix this GPU and see if it works. So, let's get started. Got my alcohol, put it in the cap. Yeah, I spit a little bit. I'm not too worried about it. So, force Q-tip. Let's try to get this screw one fixed first. And you tell how dirty this thing is. Like, there's, there's a clean Q-tip. There's a dirty one. Same here's down for you a little bit better. Camera to focus. Yeah, right. let's keep going. If I ain't luck, I might get lucky. If not, my second attempt is to find a SI bridge to connect this one with the one that works. Maybe. I can get the SI to work on it instead. It may not show a picture, but it doesn't mean that it may not still function as a GPU. So, that's the general idea. So, hopefully, it works. If you guys have any suggestions on other things I can try besides alcohol, it seems like it'd be the number one um, source for fixed electronics these days. Please let me know in the comments below because I would love to try new ideas out. So I wish the cotton will stay together a little bit better. But that's all good. Got one blemish off of here. So, work on the display port sensor. Get them alcohol it evaporates easily on its own without having too much issue. Now, you notice it's finally getting cleaner. So, that's a plus. Now one chip that it was screwed a little bit, it should come back to life too. If it didn't pop off. Let's see here. Yeah. Isn't he still there? 
So let's keep going. Get these copper contacts cleaned a little bit better. Got a lot of corrosion. Oh yeah, I'm using a hell of a lot of Q-tips on this uh, GPU trying to get it all cleaned up. Let's hope it works. It does power on. It does show the uh, BIOS display logo, but afterwards, nothing. It just cuts out to a black screen and nothing help happens afterwards. It's not a pass light issue because I used a 650 watt power supply, which is more than enough to power this thing, and a car core AMD processor. Why don't you use a buffer on here? Like one of those call buffers? That would make this thing a hell of a lot easier. Put it like in the same uh, vice grip, you know, get one of those like buffers and like whoosh. That'd be fantastic. Alright, so. Off the next chip here. Then I'm gonna let this thing dry and see what happens. Get the GPU side here. Not too bad. Getting better. It's down a little bit. Now I gotta back over this side again after it dries off a little bit. Sure, I brought my heat gun upstairs. Sure, it's a hell of a lot easier. Nice and pair here. Got my cap of uh, alcohol. <laughs> yeah, so this one that works, and this is one that kind of works. So, judging by the coloration, I got a few more spots to go to still. We got a spot here, a few spots back here. So, let's get in there. Let's keep going.
Once the stuff dries, I can blow all the uh, excess cotton off of it. And right, now for the GPU lines. Let's see here. Yeah, there's a reflection off the light here so I can see what the hell I missed. Now, most of the time with this, I see fixture issue, but do you have other chances where sometimes it doesn't? So, I mean, I'm okay either way. It's just a nice little demonstration of a video. So you guys, what rubber and alcohol can actually do for your components. So far, so good. Don't see any more blemishes on the back of the circuit board. A few spots, but nothing major. Yeah, a few more spots over here. One more spot to go by the looks of it. That one more spot left, and we should be all right. Now is that the worst thing to try? And power it up, and see what happens. There are a few spots left. Nothing too major. Yeah, one spot right here, but I don't know if I can get it though. I'm gonna try. Get what I can off it, then I get the chip right here that has some crap on it. Stand the back on my table here to try to get this uh, small little chip cleaned. Now yeah, what I can off of it, so just got a few more spots. So now most of the cars is pretty much drive ish. So. So far, so good. Now, let's take a look at the underneath cart. Let me get my phone here so I get best and better light. There we go. Don't see anything top side. Okay. 
Because I am clean. Turn my flashlight off here. Uh, let's compare. This one that works. As you can tell, there's a lot of dust blemishes on it. But nothing too bad. And this one that doesn't work. Ish. Now, from the first view of it, it looks a lot better than what it used to. Still a few pieces that looks like a little uh, iffy. But it should be fine. It's a few spots to be dried out, so. Give me a dry Q tip here. Dry it up. They're a little wet in certain spots, so you might have to wait till the next video to fully power this thing on. Because apparently, there's another spot right here that just won't come off. So, and you get the idea. Basically, having key tips to taste to clean up the, all that junk. So, a little show video how to clean a video card. I'll make a part two to this video once it dries off to see how that works. And if you notice the difference between the working one has this white sticker on it here. The broken one does not. And also it has the SLI cup on it. The working one does not. Um, so you guys will know a little bit differently. Let's see here. So you guys know I'm not, I'm not cheating you guys out of a part two video. Uh, there you guys go. I'm gonna follow this tape right here. There you go. And the bigger one I'm gonna put on this side. So that way I know what the difference since I did take off all the cards. Stickers. Bam. So, a long one does not work. And yes, I should tell too because there's a little rush spot right here on the top fin. So, there you guys have it. And I'll see you guys next time.